There was some information coming in there with regards to what has happened at the London terror attack. What we do know this hour is a police officer is among one of the victims. He was killed in the terror attack that took place in London around 2.40 in the afternoon. This after police say a man wielding a knife entered the House of Commons. He stabbed a police officer. That's when other police officers in that area opened fire. At this point, police are still looking for another assailant another suspect out and about with regards to that terror attack three french students among the victims as well who were hurt no word on the extent of their injuries two separate situations happening there one at the westminster bridge and one of the house of commons two people have died let's listen into some of the eyewitness reaction coming in from london The car continued to drive all the way down, but on the bottom of the bridge, there is a yeah. two lane, so that there is a bus on the left hand side. Yeah. So you just continue between the bus and the basement. And there was over 100 people in the basement. Yeah. Just like we're standing here now, yeah. the car drive it to us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then anything can happen. I don't know if people landed on the river, I don't know. Yeah. And the traffic was even slow, slow moving. I don't know if the cars and hit other people while they're running away yeah. from this yeah. car. I don't know what happened. Yeah. So the only thing I can do is just stop in the middle of the bridge and try to stop uh, the vehicle coming and then try to assist them and call the police and ambulance. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing I can do. Uh, for my mates to come over and have a coffee, I was on my break from my work. And um, all I could hear is that um, a, a, a loud shot, a gunshot or, some, or something. I was bang, 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 and then... Um... All right, and we are, of course, uh, bringing you up to speed on what exactly is taking place in London, a deadly terror attack there at the Westminster Bridge. Originally, this came in as a firearms incident. Afterwards, the Met then chained that and called it a terror attack until further notice. All of this happening while the Parliament was in session, in fact. Uh, there were two separate situations that took place. One where a po police say a man with a knife entered the House of Commons. He stabbed the police officer. Then police in that area responded back shooting shots at that suspect. We've just heard word that that police officer who was stabbed has now died and succumbed from his injuries out of respect for the family uh, of, of that police officer. Uh, they're not releasing more details just yet. It's right around that time, there was also another situation where uh, a car slammed in to many people, possibly tourists, in that area by Westminster Bridge, uh, mowing down a lot of people. We saw quite uh, the frenzy, panic people, tourists, in fact, in that area, just sort of uh, running for cover. Uh, that area where all of this took place, uh, Westminster Bridge and the House of Commons in the central part of London. The Met also saying they are closing down until further notice. Many of these stations in and around that area, including uh, Whitehall, Westminster Bridge, Parliament Square, Lambeth Bridge, Victoria Street, as well as the junction up to the Broadway, as well as Victoria Embankment up to the Embankment Tube. So lots happening at this uh, point. Police still looking for that one suspect uh, quite the developing situation there happening in London. Let's go straight to uh, Weon's uh, uh, Palki Sharma just joining us with the latest information coming in. Uh, Palki, uh, what can you tell us? Hey, Darshit, it's only bad news that's coming out of London uh, uh, this Wednesday. The casualty figure has gone up to four. That is something that we can confirm, including the police officer uh, who has succumbed to his injuries. And uh, the three others, uh, I understand, are from the Westminster Bridge attack, where a car rammed into uh, the railings there. Uh, three French school kids among those injured, very critically, according to some reports. The French Prime Minister, no less, speaking about that. What is most worrying for the security agencies at this point is the fact that one of the attackers is still out on the loose. And unless uh, they pin him down, unless they, uh, they account for him, it is going to be a very, very challenging exercise. And until that point, uh, I understand that they will not be in a position to declare London sanitized and safe for people to go about their business. And this is the heart of the British capital, as we've been saying all evening here, right outside the Parliament buildings on the Westminster Bridge. It doesn't get more symbolic for Londoners, and that is what's worrying, even as, uh, more worryingly, the casualty figure is going up by the hour, four dead, uh, according to the latest figures that we have.
And certainly all of this happening on the brinks of the uh, terror attack in uh, Brussels and as well as uh, what happened in Paris, in fact, uh, not too long ago. So Europe certainly on edge. Uh, uh, police at this point are calling this a terror attack. But unlike those other incidences, uh, Paris and Brussels, this one perhaps not as large scale, but still no loss of life is too small for authorities. In fact, we also were reporting earlier that the Met were in fact training not too far from where all of this happened just this past weekend. Uh, so uh, many people now uh, sort of uh, trying to pick up and move on, get back home safely as many of those stations, that area sort of uh, still under heavy police presence. So do we know at this point uh, uh, when all of this may sort of uh, uh, wrap up as police continue the investigations, Pulky? Um no, no, no uh, specific information coming out of the London police. You saw the press conference addressed by a police officer who said that uh, there was police as part of routine duty and uh, reinforcements arrived right after the gunshots were heard. And they are going to station more police officers across the city of London uh, for the foreseeable future until they've resolved the situation. They started by calling it a firearms incident. Then they uh, graded it up to a, a terrorist attack. And that is how they will consider it until they decide otherwise is what authorities have told us. What's also significant is Prime Minister Theresa May is chairing a high-level meeting uh, to deal with the aftermath of this attack and the preparedness. And uh, we have to say that the response time was exemplary. Within six minutes, we had the air helicopters landing uh, uh, inside the Westminster Palace to, to treat uh, the, uh, the, the, the injured. And one of those policemen, uh, as we've just reported, uh, succumbed to his injuries and lost his life. So we do not know when the situation will normalize. And this is in, the, in, in central London. And there are people, as we were discussing earlier, trapped uh, in, in, in the pods uh, on, on London Eye. So something will have to be done and done fast to ensure that things go back uh, to normal as as normal as it can be given the circumstances. All right, Bucky, thank you so much for all of those updates. We appreciate those inputs. And again, a quick recap for uh, uh, what we know this hour. British Prime Minister Theresa May at this point, we understand, will chair a, a COBRA committee to bring together government ministers as well as senior officials of the emergency services and security and intelligence agencies. That meeting uh, will be at the uh, uh, Cabinet Office in Whitehall. Uh, it coordinates some of the high-level responses to serious threats and incidences that have taken place uh, previously. They've talked about the July 7th attacks as well as the uh, transportation network and the murder of a soldier in London. So we do know that Theresa May will chair that. She's already been whisked away as well. Again, a quick recap. Four people killed, at least 20 hurt, including three French students, a police officer among the victims as well. Uh, quite the uh, situation there in London. We'll keep you updated as and when we get more updates. Of course, check our website, weonews.com, for the latest developments.